Hello, today I'll be showing you four of the most efficient methods to make planks for all your construction training needs. Whether you're an Iron Man, a UIM, a main account, or whatever, I have options for you. I'll go over the pros and cons of each method, so I'm not just showing the most efficient method, but maybe you have specific needs. The first method on this list is Prithenos Teaks. This is UIM friendly, you just need to teleport to your house to use up your planks in between trips. This is good for Ironmen if you need woodcutting XP anyway or want something more AFK or don't want to use miscellanea for teak logs. This is the method I've been using the most on my group Ironman to bank 99 construction because it's chill and I need the woodcutting XP anyway. The requirements for this method are of course Song of the Elves completed and the Varrock Medium Diary for the Grand Exchange Teleport. I recommend wearing graceful but it's probably not necessary and of course you need an axe. You also need runes to teleport to the GE, GP in your inventory and I highly recommend a plank sack. The teak trees in Prif are located kind of in the northeast corner and right next to them is a sawmill. There are three trees so you'll always have something to chop. All you have to do is chop logs until your inventory is full. After your first inventory, you'll make all of those into planks and put them in your plank sack then chop another inventory of logs. You can fit a few more planks in your plank sack if you want, but that just creates more clicks. It's really not necessary. You also get crystal shards here on occasion, so I'm keeping a stack of them in my inventory. Once you have two inventories of planks, you'll teleport to the GE, bank your planks, and then run northeast to the spirit tree. If you have a spirit tree in your house, you could use that, but then that means you'd have to add on another teleport, so I recommend using the the GE Tele instead. Use the spirit tree to prif and then run back to the teak spot. So that's the method, pretty simple. If you're an ultimate Iron Man, you would teleport to your house to use up the planks and then preferably have a spirit tree in your house or have a GE Tele in your house, but just using runes also works. So it's not too different from the banking method. Now that I've shown the method, I'll do this for an hour and show you how many planks I made. Hello, I'm back with 710 antique planks. I used 355k to make these and also gained 14 crystal shards. Every other method on this list is better planks per hour, but if you're chopping teaks yourself, it's always gonna be slower. This is basically just combining woodcutting training with making planks. And of course, here is the XP I gained this hour, 60k woodcutting XP and a small amount of magic XP from teleporting. If you use tick manipulation, you can get more XP and more planks. This second method requires more attention. This is the demon butler method. For this, you need at least 50 construction for a demon butler and lots of GP. I recommend graceful or weight reducing armor, law runes, a dust staff, or whatever combination of staff and runes for a house teleport, and whatever your closest teleport to a bank is. If you're a UIM, you could use a teleport to teak trees or whatever logs you're chopping instead. If you're doing the this method long term, I recommend using something that doesn't use runes or resources, such as a dragon's medallion, farming cape, crafting cape, or have a spirit tree in your house and use it to the farming guild. You can also do this on a PvP world and teleport to Camelot, which is the fastest method, but sometimes if you're too fast teleporting back to your house, your demon butler will come back with your planks instead of banking them. So you want to be out of your house just long enough that your butler has to take the planks to your bank, otherwise they'll prioritize bringing them back to you. And you're teleporting to your house with an inventory full of logs, so you won't be able to take the planks and will have to teleport back out. Also, if you use the PvP world method, make sure you lock your house or turn your private off or to friends so you don't get PK'd. This method is dangerous because one misclick could potentially get you killed, so you don't want to bring your whole cash stack or gear you don't want to risk losing. So I'll be using a Draken's Medallion instead to show you this method. Another thing you need is a bell pole in a dining room. You don't actually 
use this bell pull, but you need one somewhere in your house in order to use the call servant button in your house options. Not necessary, but recommended is a servant's money bag. You can store up to 3 mil in here, and this is where your butler takes payments every so often, so you don't have to go through extra dialogue when he asks you for payments. You do still have to bring coins in your inventory, but this just kind of makes it less tedious. The method is pretty simple, but fast. All you have to do is teleport to a bank and grab an inventory full of logs. Teleport to your house, click the house option, and call your servant. The first time, you have to ask him to send your planks to the sawmill, but once you've done it at least once, it'll just be the first option. Then he asks you for money for the sawmill and you select option number one again and spacebar through the rest of the dialogue. Quickly teleport back to the bank and grab out more logs and repeat. Doing this method, I never had the butler bring the planks directly to me, which I guess means it's kind of slow. Every so often, you'll see red text in your chat box letting you know the butler took his payment from the money bag and it tells you how much you have left. Now I'll do this method to test out how many planks you can get. I ended up only doing this for 30 minutes because I have a lot of methods to go through this video and not a lot of teak planks left, and I've heard you can make up to 5k planks per hour with this method, but I'll just kind of multiply everything by 2 to show you how much you would make in an hour. Okay, I'm back with 1,976 planks, which would be 3,952 in an hour. Also, I did nearly run out of run energy, so if your teleport is about this distance from a bank, you might need to drink from your pool every once in a while or sip a stamina. I would have used just over 2 mil in GP in an hour in total from the sawmill and paying the butler, and would have used 152 law runes. So this is kind of the casual version, but just know you can make more planks if you have a teleport closer to a bank and are more efficient. If you don't want to use as much GP and have a ring of the elements, here is a good method for you. What you need for this, aside from the ring of the elements, is a teleport close to a bank just like the last method, or if you're a UIM, it would be a teleport to trees, and your house. First, you need to charge your ring with one of each elemental rune and a law rune. All of that is equal to one charge, and you use one charge per teleport. I'm starting with 5k charges in my ring and I'll see how many I use up. For this method, you'll be using your ring to teleport to the earth altar, which brings you very close to the Varrock sawmill. Your first trip, you'll select whatever planks you need, but afterwards you can just hold down the spacebar. Teleport to a bank, bank your planks, and grab out logs, then you can select the teleport to last destination option on your ring and repeat. This is a lot more running than the last method, so I recommend using staminas or the pool in your house every so often. Okay, let me test this out for 30 minutes and show you the results. Hello, I've made 1,701 planks, which would be 3,402 in an hour, so not much worse than the last method. I would have used 126 charges in my ring and 1.7 mil GP in an hour, and 18 doses of stamina, which is 4.5 stamina potions. This is a good method if you really want to use less GP or if you don't have the level for a demon butler but have a ring of the elements. But the demon butler method is usually more worth it. Last but not least is using the lunar spell Plank Make. For this, you need completion of Dream Mentor and 86 magic. You need GP in your inventory and astral runes and either a charred bryophyta staff and earth runes or an earth staff and nature runes. I recommend a rune pouch to save an inventory slot, but it doesn't really matter too much. The spell Plank Make is similar to enchanting jewelry. You can choose to manually cast the spell to make it faster, or it can be completely AFK if you want. This actually costs less GP than 
than using a sawmill, but it's only worth doing if you already have a lot of runes you don't mind using up or just need the magic XP. I won't be testing this out myself because the rates are already on the wiki. If you're manually casting, you can make between 1700 to 1850 planks per hour and gain between 153k to 166.5k magic XP. But if you just want to AFK, this will be around 1000 planks and 90k magic XP per hour. So still better than the Prifteeks method, but that's only if you didn't cut the logs yourself. The GP used is about 70% less than a sawmill, so if you did teeks and AFK'd, this would use about 350k GP per hour, as well as 2000 astral runes and 1000 nature runes unless you're using a Bryophytus staff. This can also make money if you're a main account, but only with certain logs. So this method is fairly slow, but if you prefer to AFK and have a bunch of logs you need to use, or really want the magic XP, this might just be the method for you. That's all for this video. I know there are a lot of other ways to make planks, but I think these are the best ones. Let me know if you have a method you think should have been added to this list. I hope this helped you figure out what method you want to use to make planks, or just helped you find the planks per hour for a method you already knew you wanted to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!